evening. Good evening. How are you this evening? Yeah, how are you? I'm doing pretty good. Doing pretty good. Trying to wrap up um, my taxes. We'll file our taxes tomorrow, and I just started today. So, Oh, <laughs> you got this. You got this. You got this. You got it. Yeah. yeah. Like Lord Jesus. It's it's not as much, but it's just a matter of putting everything together on the yeah. spreadsheet and I can only separating imagine. everything out and all that good stuff. But I'm like, Lord have mercy. <laughs> I can imagine. Yes, I can. Yep. I surely wait until the last minute. <laughs> Don't mention it. Yeah. Okay, well. All right, meditating, getting ready for tonight. Lord, we just thank you. We just thank bless you. you. Hallelujah. Lord, we glorify you on today. Lord, we acknowledge you in all of our ways because you yes. said you direct our very pathway. Yes, we recognize yes. and we're recognizing more and more with these studies about the Holy Spirit, God, that we can't do nothing without his empowerment, without his leading and guiding us. And without our intentionality of, of him, God, his um, His presence, Father, and his role that he plays in our lives, Father. We just, we just give you thanks for your word on today. God, you are such an awesome yes. God. You're awesome. so worthy. Hallelujah. You're so worthy, God. Yes. You're, You're worthy, so Lord. worthy. Hallelujah. God, we give you thanks. Hallelujah. We just praise you on tonight. We praise yes. you, Father, for this season in our lives, Father. For sure, your word says that a good man's steps are ordered by the Lord. And we just want to thank you for your word on today. Your word is true. Your word is holy. It is just. It is righteous. It is pure. Oh, God, it is spirit. God, we just praise you on tonight. Uh, we Me just too. bless you, Father, for an opportunity, Lord, to, to get together with the saints and unity lord yes. we just bless you father glory to god because there is your anointing poured out on us when we are together in one accord and we just yes. want to thank you for that father we just praise you lord and we you, welcome lord. the holy spirit we welcome you this day and forever in the name of jesus 24 7 holy spirit yes. we invite you we're asking that you have your complete yeah, way God that you will continue to reveal Jesus Christ to us even through your word even through fellowship God we yes. just love it even by means of the blood of, of his own blood God that he poured out for us on Calvary's cross we just want to tell you thank you thank you Thank you. Thank, thank you, Lord. Lord Jesus. Thank you, Lord thank Jesus. You. Thank you for your word. Thank, thank you. you Lord. Thank, thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. For the word of God. Thank you, Lord. Yes. Thank we you, Lord. Mind and a desire to go deeper mm -hmm. in your word, God, because you desire to show us great and mighty things, Father, as we continue to seek you and as we continue to draw close to you, Lord, because your word said, if we do so, you will draw nigh to us, Father, and we recognize that we need your presence with us all day long, wherever Thank we go. Lord. We need your presence, Father, in the name yes, of Jesus. Lord, There's victory, you. oh God, as as uh, even in the Old Testament, I believe it was Moses that said, except you go with me, God, I won't go. And, uh, we just Lord. praise you, Lord. We want you to be with us like you was with him in Thank the name you. of Jesus. God, we glorify you, Lord. We lift the families everywhere on tonight, Father. Yes. In the name of Jesus. Those that are bereaving, mm -hmm. those that are hurting, those that are satin, God, those that are depressed, oppressed, Father, whatever the situation 
situation might be. We lift up families on tonight. We stand in the proxy for them, God. And we are yes, asking Lord. for your mercy, Lord, upon every household, Lord, on family members everywhere. Lord, we pray for the homeless, those yes, that Lord. just don't have a desire to do nothing good. Lord, we're asking that you put that desire, reignite that desire that's in them, yes, Father, Lord. because they're made in you. We are made in your image, Father, yes, in the Lord. name of Jesus. Let that royal mentality rise, O oh God, up in all of us, God. Hallelujah. Yes, Lord. Lord, we just bless you on tonight. We praise yes, you. Lord. We pray for young people everywhere, Lord, in the yes. name of the single mothers, single dads, whatever yes. the case may be, Lord, we lift them up now mm -hmm. in the mm -hmm. name of Jesus. God, we're asking that they all, we all would desire wisdom that comes from above, God, that we can bring you glory and honor and praise, God. We just praise you on tonight. Yes. Pray for our Amen. We pray for leaders everywhere, Lord, that we will all bow down in your presence and say, Lord, help. Lord, have mercy upon us, Lord, because we need your mercies even now, God, in the name of Jesus. God, we glorify you. We lift up schools and colleges, God, every yes. educational institution, Lord, we lift them up on tonight. Thank and you. we put a blood ring about them, the classroom rooms, the playground, wherever the students are congregated in the dormitories. Lord, we put a blood ring about them now in the name of Jesus. Thank we Jesus. call upon your name, God. We call upon your name. As Apostle mentioned the other night, Jehovah Sabiot, we bless you on tonight. We need you, Lord. And we yes, praise you, Lord, in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Glory to God. God, we dare to call upon your name and come into your presence, even by reason of the sprinkling of that blood of your dear son, Jesus Christ, that we have access to you on tonight, on this evening. Yes. We just praise you for your great mercies, how you've taken care of us day to day you're keeping us in our right mind father we just praise you for sustaining us i believe i heard that word last night in the name of jesus father we just bless you so much father in the name of jesus we pray for every family dynamic the husband the wife the sisters the brothers the entire dynamic of family god we lift them up lord in the name of jesus the aunts the uncles every area god we need you lord that we can come together as one as a unity lord that we might bring you glory that we might bring you honor that we would give you praise we bless you for apostle shelby frederick god the vision that you've given her god how she's taking it out how mm -hmm. she's going forth god relentlessly she mm -hmm. is moving god on your behalf father through obedience and lord we ask that you even set a greater anointing upon her even the more god for the tax that you've given her god that you will surround her even the more god with men and women god that we can bring about what you want her to do lord we just bless you father bless our household her children her husband oh god everyone that is in uh in her surrounding that's uh connected to this woman of god we just mm -hmm. praise you so much on tonight lord and we just bless you again for this opportunity lord of this being fired up god on the yes. 50 days lord in the name of jesus lord increase the up. hunger in us the more lord we just thank you for what you've done in us already yes. Yes. thank you lord by coming together god by hearing your word god this is such mm -hmm. a and I just give you praise on tonight, Lord. I'm asking even the more that you would give me a better understanding as you are, God, even on what we're about to uh, go forth on tonight, Lord. I just thank you, Lord, for getting into this word. And I'm asking that you would help me to understand your perfect will even the more on your Holy Spirit. God, I need it and I confess it to know tonight, God. And I recognize how much I need him, God, every day. 
day of my life, how much I need him and and how much I need him every day, God. And I should look for his help, God, and I should seek him, God, even the more, Lord, in the name of Jesus, yes, after, what I, after what I'm understanding on this journey. And we just yes. bless you tonight, Lord. This is day 10, and we yes. thank you for the nine days, Father, that we've already gone through up till today. Yes. And even yeah. thereafter, we need you, Lord. And we just Amen. bless you so much on tonight, Father. We praise you and we honor you, Father. Order yes. our steps and our word. Give us clarity and understanding that we will not just learn it, but live it. Not just live it, but share it and give it out, yes. Lord. In the mm -hmm. name of Jesus, God, we love you. We bless you for this word, this explosion, God. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus, yes. Father, Jesus. power in this word, God, that we are going through these days. We Jesus. love you. And we bless you, Father, for you're rich in your mercies, God. We love you so much. And we just thank, thank you. you, Father. We're asking that you continue to be with us, Father. In your son Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. Glory. Amen. 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 Yes. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. God, we just thank you. Well, mm. as a Apostle says every night, well, today is day 10. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my goodness. <laughs> and mm. this is, this is, wow, this is really something. And uh, we just go through as we usually do. It's day mm. 10, the seal of the Holy Spirit. And the scripture text for tonight is Ephesians 1. 13 through 14. And uh, I want to go back and read over. Um, let me see. Can I go back here? Oh, let's see. Can I find out where I was? Just one moment. How do I decrease the screen? Uh, how do I do that? Mm -hmm. So that I can go back. Um, if you click out, um, click out. If you get, no, at the top of the screen, uh -huh. at the top of your screen in the left-hand corner, yes, it might say um, view. Yeah, yes. Uh -huh. And, and, if, and uh, if you see exit full view, click on yeah. that, and then that'll let you switch between your, your tabs. Very good, very good. There you go. Thank you. You're welcome. Learn how to maneuver here. But anyway, I wanted to go back to the 11th verse and just continue throughout the 23rd verse. This is powerful. Okay, and then we just go through tonight's scripture, which is 13 through 14. But I'll start at the uh, 11th verse. And it says, and I believe this is the NIV. And which one do you use, Apostle? Is it the CB? What is it? I usually use CSB. CSB or V? B as in boy. Okay. That's what I thought. Okay. Mm -hmm. So I believe this is NIV. And it says, in him we were also chosen, having been predestined according to the plan of him who works out everything in conformity with the purpose of his will, in order that we, who were the first to put our hope in Christ, might be for the praise of his glory. Everything is about him. And you also were included in Christ when you heard the message of truth, the gospel of your salvation. When you believe, you were marked in him with a seal, the promised Holy Spirit, who is a deposit guaranteeing our inheritance until the redemption of those who are God's possession to the praise of his glory. And I really like this Thanksgiving prayer after he said that. He said, for this reason, ever since I heard about your faith in the Lord Jesus and your love for all God's people, I have not stopped giving thanks for you, remembering you in my prayers. I keep asking that the God of our Lord Jesus Christ, the glorious Father, may give you the spirit of wisdom and revelation so that you may know him better. I pray that the eyes of your heart may be enlightened and may be enlightened in order that you may know the hope to which he has called you. 
the riches of his glorious inheritance in his holy people and his incomparably great power for us who believe. That power is the same as the mighty strength he exerted when he raised Christ from the dead and seated him at his right hand in the heavenly realms, far above all rule and authority, power and dominion, in every name that is invoked, not only in the present age, but also in the one to come. And God placed all things under his feet and appointed him to be head over everything for the church, which is his body, the fullness of him who fills everything in every way amen and as uh we mentioned i want to go back to our man to enlarge our screen again well that's okay i think i have it on mine as well okay as it said the seal of the holy spirit the scripture and you also were included in christ when you heard the message of truth the gospel of your salvation when you believe you were marked in him with a seal, the promised Holy Spirit, who is a deposit guaranteeing our inheritance until the redemption of those who are God's possession to the praise of his glory. And the daily devotion is that we will reflect on the permanence of God's seal. Let's do just one moment. Okay. Of God's seal upon your life through the Holy Spirit. Pray for a renewed sense of security and assurance in your salvation and God's promises. In our daily meditation, meditate on the assurance and security we have in the Holy Spirit. I'm telling you, as I began to realize, this Holy Spirit is just irreplaceable. That's how much we need him. Meditate on the assurance and security we have in the Holy Spirit, who is our seal and guarantee of our inheritance in Christ. And we'll come back, but I also want to share that uh, we could go over the reflection afterwards as well. It says, how has your understanding of the Holy Spirit's role in your life transformed during this journey and what steps can you take to more fully embrace his power and guidance daily okay so we'll go back to um to be honest with you as i was studying this i go oh my god this is this is this is this is awesome so um i what I really want to bring out, uh, as we were reading those particular scriptures, uh, there are three words, heard, believed, and marked. Kind of want to go over those. So Paul writes about what happened to them having, after they had believed or after, just one moment, I need to go back up a little bit. Yes. Okay. Okay. Yes. Paul uh, writes about what happened to them after they believe, having believed, or after they believe, while all three of the gifts they heard, they believe, they're very important. But it was after they believe that they receive the seal of the mark of the Holy Spirit. So I want to talk about marked. Paul writes that as a result of their belief, they were marked. And when someone believes, they are see after we believe, we were and are all filled, um, are sealed with the promise of the Holy Spirit. So there were four types of sealing in Paul's day. In uh, in Paul's day, there were uh, in Paul's day, seal were used in at least four ways, and I'll just mention four of them. The first one, seals were sometimes put on letters to guarantee, and this really helped me to really understand what the Holy Spirit did for us. Um, the first seal, and these are natural way, but it still showed me spiritually what was, you know, what has occurred because I really needed that in studying this. So the first seals were sometimes put on letters to guarantee that it was genuine and that it was written. 
by who it claimed to be written by. In Esther 8 and 8, it reads, now write, this is Esther, because there were one decree that were written, but she, of course, uh, the Lord used her. So in Esther 8 and 8, she said, now write another decree in the king's name, in behalf of the Jews, as seems best to you. And seal it with the king's signet ring, for no document written in the king's name and sealed with his ring can be revoked. So that lets me know, too, about the Holy Spirit. Once that's sealed, it cannot be revoked. Okay, so it cannot be revoked. And it gave us uh, to make uh, us look at the kings might seal their names with letters, with a signet ring as we do sometimes in getting documents notarized. Secondly, a seal uh, was also sometimes placed on goods or merchandise that was traveling from one place to another to indicate who they belonged to and where they were going. It indicated ownership. And 2 Corinthians 1 and 22 says, set his seal of ownership on us and put his spirit in our hearts as a deposit, guaranteeing what is to come. In Revelation 7 and 2, when I saw another angel coming up from the east, having the seal of the living word, of the living God. Now it said, then I saw another angel coming up from the east, having the seal of the living God. He called out in a loud voice, to four angels who had been given power to harm the land and the sea. Revelation 9 and 4, they were told not to harm the grass or the earth or any plant or tree, but only those people who did not have the seal of God on their foreheads. Again, we do this with our own possession. We put our names in books. Uh, names on their uh, kids' clothes while they're in, away in camps, and also ranchers brand their cattle doing this as well. And they are all placing a mark of ownership, which is what the Holy Spirit has done for us. So a third way that they used seal back in Paul's day was to show that something was authentic and approved. John 6 and 27 says, do not work for food that spoils, but for food that endures to eternal life, which the Son of Man will give you. For on him, God the Father has placed his seal of approval. And it mentions here sometime, even when we buy clothes, we can look in pockets and we will see a piece of paper that will say it has been inspected or approved by someone. Again, these are natural ways that are showing me spiritually how the Holy Spirit uh, has sealed us. The fourth type of seal was for a protection or warning. Remember when Jesus was put in the tomb, Pilate told the soldiers, and this is really powerful. He told the soldiers to put a seal upon that tomb as Matthew 27 and 66. So when they went and made the tomb secure, by putting a seal on the stone and posting the guard. In Ephesians 4 and 30, it says, And do not grieve the Holy Spirit of God with whom you were sealed for the day of redemption. And this was to protect the tomb and want everyone to stay away from them. And here is this telling, showing us, showing me how important a seal is. And what the Holy Spirit does when that, even in the natural, when they sealed it, they could not go back and revoke it. I mean, they, they couldn't. He's okay, I've done it. Even when Daniel was, was it Daniel? Uh, the, I think it was Daniel, yes, when they threw him into that den. And the king really didn't want Daniel to go there because he believed in Daniel. But because he had put that seal on, he had given them his word, he could not go back on it. But I like what that king did. He went and prayed and fasted that night for him. And what happened? They did not protect. They did not uh, uh, harm Daniel. But the king got up that morning let it, let me know how much he believed God. He believed that prayer. He prayed. And when he got up, he went to that den. And as he knew Daniel wasn't dead, he said, oh, Daniel, 
<laughs> about your king, you about your God. Did your God deliver you? What? I mean, he he believed God himself. So uh, he just and let me know that he you know he couldn't back back on his word, but yet he went and prayed, and Daniel was delivered. He came out all right. Okay, so now I want to go back to our scripture reference, and I the word deposit stuck out in my mind. And deposit means a sum payable as a first installment on the purchase of something or as a pledge for a contract, the balance being payable later. And the other word that stood out to me was guarantee. And a guarantee is an assurance for the fulfillment of of a condition such as an agreement by which one person undertakes to secure another in the possession or the enjoyment of something. I mean, God put his seal on this and it was the Holy Ghost that is the seal for us. And the guarantor, of course, is the one that gives the guarantee. Okay, so we go back to, let's see, our daily meditation. Just one moment. Let's pass by a little bit. Okay. So I, as I mentioned, I bought out three of the three words that really stuck out to me in Ephesians 1, 13 and 14. And you also were included in Christ when you first heard the message of truth. Faith come by hearing and hearing the word of God, the gospel of your salvation. When you believe, we have to believe in our heart, but it was after we believe that's when we were marked in him with a seal. And that seal, as I mentioned, I thought I had this, what a seal was. I did make a, uh, uh, let's see what I did with that. Hey. Okay, I must have this one. But we know what a seal is. It's it's just like a brand. We see it on everything, on the king's signet. We see the seal on notaries. When you put that seal there, it's when you sign your name, you are attesting that what you're saying it is true. And it cannot be revoked. The same thing as a seal of God through the Holy Ghost that he placed upon us, we are sealed. And I just really hadn't gotten that deep into it, but this study has really, and it is opening up my understanding of how powerful that the Holy Spirit is in our lives and what he's doing on a daily basis. Even from last night, it was so powerful. I really, really enjoyed it. Even prior to that, uh, everything about the Holy Spirit is enlightening me. And I am just so grateful. But it said, but when you believe you are marked, it wasn't until that faith came in. When you believe, then you were marked in him with a seal, the promised Holy Spirit, who is a deposit. And I thought about when we make deposit on certain things, that's an assurance that, oh, she mean business. She's put her money down on it. So it says a deposit. And I gave you the, uh, what a deposit is. Of course, we all know in the natural what a deposit is, but it says who is a deposit guaranteeing our inheritance until the redemption of those who are God's possession to the praise of his glory. The Holy Spirit is our seal. We have been marked in him with a seal, which is the promised Holy Spirit, who is a deposit guaranteeing our inheritance. Once it's guaranteed, that's it. That's true. It can't change. It will not change because you can say guaranteed, meaning you know what you're doing. You have faith in what you're doing. So our inheritance until the redemption of those who are God's possession to the praise of his glory. And that daily devotion says to reflect on the permanence. That means that once the seal is a deal, is is it. Is not coming back. Uh, reflect on the permanence of God's seal upon our life through the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit has a great 
what I want to say. He, wow, we just can't do without him. Everything is through him. Reflect on the permanence of God's seal upon our life through the Holy Spirit. And that we are to pray. And I began to see this in myself. Pray for a renewed sense of security and assurance in my salvation and God and God's promise. So not just salvation, but and God's promises. A renewed sense of security uh, and assurance in our salvation and God's promises and the meditation, meditate on the assurance and security we have in the Holy Spirit, who is our seal and guarantee of our inheritance. And the reflection really made me think, and I, uh, I want to even look up on it even more as we study, how has my understanding of the Holy Spirit's role in my life has transformed form during this journey and what steps can I take personally to more fully embrace his power and guidance daily amen so now I'll just open up if anyone wants to share about uh, the daily devotion or the meditation reflection uh, uh it's open, you guys may at this moment. Thank you. Anyone? I've been blessed by it. Blessed, blessed. Yes. Me too. Thank you so much. I want the notes. <laughs> <laughs> that was excellent. Oh, praise so God. Perfect. Thank you. All the ways that we are, all the roles of the Holy Spirit with us, that that is awesome. Mm. I'm going to have to listen to this a few times. <laughs> praise God. Amen. Thank you, Sister Benson. Um, it was surely uh, good meat, as we say. Um, the words that you uh, picked out that spoke to you, uh, that the Holy Spirit is the deposit within us. Uh, there's an indwelling there. Um, and in that indwelling, it, it, it gives room for God and Jesus to be within us uh, by the Holy Spirit and that we believe without that belief if we don't believe in the Holy Spirit we're not going to seek the Holy Spirit we are taught how to look to God how to look to Jesus but there's not enough to teach us uh, about or have been taught about Seeking the Holy Spirit, because uh, I believe it was mentioned yesterday that the Holy Spirit is a person. It's not a thing. It's a person. And just like we um, make relationship with Jesus and God, we make relationship with uh, the Holy Spirit. So um, to believe in that Holy Spirit, believe in that deposit is, is so important. Uh, because 14 goes on to say, which is the earnest of our inheritance until the redemption. And then the King James Version says, of the purchased possession unto the praise of his glory. Purchased by the blood of Jesus Christ. We become possession of God. So, um, thank you very much. You're welcome, and thank you guys for sharing. Good, uh, good evening. Uh -huh. Thank you, 
you, Sister Benson, for your teachings this evening. And I just wanted to say I'm very thankful for the seal. I thank you, Holy Spirit. It's just over here um, just worshiping and just giving thanks that the seal is there to show, to prove that I am his. Thank you. Thank you, Lord. That's all I have. Thank you. Thank you. Beautiful. Thank you. I love the theme of today, the seal of the Holy Spirit, because it just reminds me of the finished work. So, um, I used to teach like people about the curl patterns of their natural hair. And so I would like tell them what type of products would be good for like their curl pattern and things like that. And so most of the time, most, uh, most people will do better with the LOC which is lock, right? And it's because with the lock method, you would seal the moisture with a lock and seal oil. So some oils are um, heavier than others and some oils are lighter, right? And so when so like when you wash your hair and then you condition it and then um at the end of it though it's still wet so before it dries you want to put a lock and seal type of oil in it and so i feel like the when you say the seal it's like that's a wrap that's like the end that's like the finished work and it holds in the moisture. And so that's what I think about. If you didn't understand that, no worries. I was just... That's good. That's... Thank you for that analogy. I, I, I come up with the most oddest analogies, but anyhow, thank you so much for you. For your teaching tonight, Mama B. Thank you. You're welcome and thank you for sharing. Anyone else? Sister Benson, I would just like to share the um, scripture out of the Passion Translation. And it says, um, verse 13, it says, And because of him, when you who are not Jews heard the revelation of truth, you believe in the wonderful news of salvation. Now we have been stamped with the seal of the promised Holy Spirit. He is given to us like an engagement ring is given to a bride. As the first installment, of what's coming. He is our hope, promise of the future inheritance, which seals us until we have all of redemption, promise, and experience complete freedom, all for the supreme glory and honor of God. That is beautiful. Thank you for sharing. Uh, I love the engagement ring. That, that's powerful. Thank you for sharing that. Beautiful. Yes, it Thank is. You. I love the message translation too. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the Holy Spirit just told me, pick, I turned around, my book was there, and I, he said, pick it up and read it out of there. Um, it just gives more detail of, of that, seeing that action really happens. You know, you can picture it, you can see it. Um, like um, 
Misha just gave the analogy with the hair and how the hair is locked, you know, with certain products um, and how this Holy Spirit seals us with that ring. We think of that marriage ring um, and what that does, uh, what power it gives us, what position it puts us in. And, and he's saying here the same with this ring. It's, it's only the beginning, though. It's only the beginning. There's so much more, more hope, more of the promise. The future inheritance is yet to come. That's exciting. Thank it you. It is. It is. Thank you for sharing. I found I find also so much um, safety and satisfaction in um, Holy Spirit guaranteeing our inheritance. I'm sorry. Could you repeat that? I just um, was saying how I find so much safety, and I just find so much safety and security in Holy Spirit guaranteeing our inheritance that's beautiful amen and thank you for sharing and as I had mentioned I thought I was off mute but I was saying as well I do apologize for that that now I can intentional as this is enlightening for me uh, in many ways and I want to delve deeper into it as well but it's letting me know that I can talk to him and that as because he is a person and that he will lead and guide me because he has role, many roles that he plays in our lives. And that I am to intentionally ask and not only ask, but obey what he's given me to, to do as well. And uh, this is it's a great lesson. Great, great studies. Anyone else on that particular one on the reflection? Thank you, Misha, for sharing. I'll share. Um, I remember one time, and this has been so many years ago, um, I was in a service and the minister, um, when he came to pray for me and he said, you know, um, something to the fact that you know, your life is marked for God. And that's something that I never, I never, I never forgot that because at that particular time um, in my journey, I was, um, I had learned so, I was learning so much just personally of what God was doing and, and delving deeper into um, the word of God and just study uh, his word. And I can honestly say that that was very uh, transformational period uh, for me um, in my life. And, you know, when you talk about, you know, looking at what does it mean to be sealed you know, um, by the Holy Spirit, you know, what does that mean when, you know, um, when our lives are marked 
um, by God. And it's the, it's it's like it's the evidence. <laughs> it's the evidence of, of what God has done and, and how he preserves us and how um, he protects us and how he continues to uh, just lead us through our journeys as we are growing um, in the knowledge of, of who Jesus Christ is. And so it, it was uh, really a turning uh, point for me uh, to have that understanding of what it means that uh, my life is marked uh, when you talk about uh, being preserved. And no matter what you go through, uh, that what God has deposited on the inside of you. And when we are sealed by Holy Spirit, um, it is literally life-changing. I think about even after that time, the, the test and the trials that I went through. And I don't know, um, I don't know how I would have been able to make it through had I not had that um, that understanding and that revelation of of being marked, and what that's what does that mean uh, when we live that out, knowing that your life is marked and that you are sealed, uh, and so it was very uh, just a very uh, transitional time for me, you know, in my. Uh, walk with the Lord, uh, but that's something that I've never, I've never forgotten that. Uh, and it has literally kept me moving forward, uh, regardless of what I may have gone through. It kept me moving forward in the things of God, knowing that whatever test, whatever trial, you know, um, whatever I had to endure, um, that I was protected and that Holy Spirit was there. And, you know, so I've always had that understanding of, of what it means to uh, seek Holy Spirit in all things, even in the natural things. And um, a lot of people who don't understand that, you know, I, I really can't. You know, I don't know what else to tell you. <laughs> you have to try to seek them for yourself. You have to seek them for yourself. Um, but literally, that's how I've, I've lived my life. And it, ha it really has um, been um, a, a blessing. And just embracing all that Holy Spirit does for, for me in my everyday life. And so um, thank you for what you have already shared. Um, on this evening. Thank you. And thank you for sharing. Anyone else? Okay. Well, Heavenly Father, we just bless you on tonight. We just thank you for what you're doing in this season. We just praise you, Father, for this 50 days of, you no, know, the fired up 50 days of trans to transformative faith. And we just praise you for it, Lord, because that's exactly what it's doing, Lord. And we just thank you for this visionary. We thank you for the uh, how everything is laid out for us, Father. We just thank you, Lord, for your word on tonight. It is spirit. It is life. We bless you for all those of us that are hearing. And God, we pray that your word has fallen up on good grounds, Lord. And we just thank you, Lord, that this word will be cultivated and that we could not only live it, but we can share it with others as well, Lord. We just thank you for it, Father. We bless you, Lord, and we're looking forward to the other part of this session, Father, as it, as it continues daily. And we just want to thank you again for Apostle Shelby and for all of those that are contributed, God, and are contributing, that are praying, 
God, and we just praise you, Father. Let us all be encouraged, Father, as we continue this journey and seek you, Lord. We just praise you for it, Father, and we bless you. In your son, Jesus Christ's name we pray. Amen. 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 This apostle, I put it back in your hands. <laughs> Amen. Amen. Well, amen. Let, the, let, the, let the church say amen. Amen. <laughs> amen. amen. So grateful to you, uh, Sister Sherry. Mm-hmm. You are uh, so grateful for all of you um, that have um, uh, signed up um, to uh, just to, to share and to um, bring forth what God reveals um, to you and what he has spoken to you. Um, this is how we learn and this is how we grow, you know, when we all come together um, in uh, fellowship, uh, fellowship in the word. And so um, it's uh, definitely a blessing. Um, you know, God gives us grace uh, to uh, to do and to move forward. And um, mm-hmm. I believe that this is, you know, just also an opportunity to give others opportunity as well. Um, to share and so if you know anything about about me you know I'm going to always open up opportunity um, because I believe that what we all uh, see and what we hear what we learn what we experience um, is uh, a blessing um, not just for ourselves um, for, for those that we are gathered together in community with. And so um, we receive a lot of, um, there's a uh, revelation and insight um, that others bring to the table. And so um, I just want to, again, tell you all, thank you. Um, and uh, I'm looking forward uh, to uh, hearing, um, participating, uh, being a, a student, um, as, as well, uh, just in what God is doing um, in 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 your lives as well, and so um, I thank you all um, so much. And that's all that I have. Anybody else have anything in closing? Apostle, I just want to um, pray for you tomorrow um, for tomorrow because it is tomorrow that you'll be giving the word. Yes. Mm, amen. Amen. Thank you. And just in this atmosphere right now, uh, with the Holy Spirit being very present, um, Lord, we just thank you um, as you call your daughter forth to pour out that which you have placed within her, oh God. We thank you that uh, her spirit is on fire, Lord Jesus, and there'll be an overflow to flow out into uh, the gathering that you have called her to tomorrow, dear God. We thank you for the favor that you have given her there, oh God. We thank you that those who will come, Lord, let them come with hearts and uh, of thee, oh God, uh, to be open to receive of thee, Lord God, to receive your word, Father. Hallelujah, Jesus. We know that there will be worship, Lord God. But we also know that the word is the only thing that's going to last and all that we have of celebrating who you are and praising of who you are, God. But your word is the everlasting. And in that, God, let them hear. Let them hear tomorrow night. Let them hear enough, God, that they listen so that they obey your word, oh God. We thank you, Lord God. We thank you as you cover her in the blood of Jesus, in the light of thee, oh God. Hallelujah, God. We thank you, God, that there is no weapon formed against her. It cannot prosper, Lord God. We thank you, God, that we command the angels to go and break up the follow ground. Hallelujah, Jesus, pushing back every darkness, every darkness, Lord God. Father, that we dispatch the angels to begin to pray on the grounds, oh God. Let the heavens of thee be open on those grounds, Lord God. Cover her, oh God. Thank you, Lord. We just thank you, Lord. Thank you, God. Thank you, Lord. We just praise and magnify you. 
Thank you, Lord. For your word is mighty and powerful. Yes, it gives yes. life, oh God. It gives Thank life. You. Yes. Hallelujah, Jesus. Oh, Let her spiritual eyes and ears be open, oh God. Yes. For those who are in need of your prayers, need of yes. your touch. Yeah. Oh, thank you, Lord yes. God. Yes. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Father, as you have given us these 10 days, oh God, yes, just God. To, 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 to sit in your word, Lord God, to hear Ooh. your word. Yes, Father, Lord. that 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 we may be mm, those of us, huh? Oh God, who already know of the spirit, but Father, there's a greater. Uh, a greater yes. in the spirit realm. Yes. Those who are coming into the spirit realm. Thank you, Thank you, God. Thank you, God. Thank you, Lord. So we thank you, God, that you meet us where we are and we say that, but we have to have that hunger and thirst for more of thee. Yes. So mm. let the people have a hunger and thirst for your word. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, God. Yes, we can be sealed by the Holy Spirit, but if we don't activate it in us, Scott, we 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 don't get the 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 privilege that we have. My God, thank you, Lord. Mm -hmm. Thank you, so Jesus. Thank you, God. Hallelujah. Thank you, as you would call upon her in the fifty days of Pentecost to go and to to pour out a word of Thee, O oh God. Thank you. Lord. We just thank you, Lord. As you give her rest this night, oh God, in her heart and her mind, oh God, the peace of thee, oh God. Thank you, Lord. Knowing that the word is already sealed within her yes. by the Holy Spirit. Thank you, Lord. By the Holy Spirit. Yes. Thank you. So we thank you, God, for the 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 shepherds of, of the house that she is going to. May you bless them, oh God. Yes. Pour out a blessing that they did not know that was yeah. coming beyond their understanding. Mm -hmm. As they receive the prophet apostle that is coming forth. In Jesus' name, amen. 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 Thank you. Thank amen. you so much. Amen. 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 Thank you so much. Hallelujah. Uh, there is a word. Um, that is for the ministry. Mm -hmm. and, um, you know, sometimes it's like, when we say what, Lord? Right. <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> for real. Mm. Praise mm. God. Mm. Um, but, you know, we would go and we just be obedient, you know, mm -hmm. to what? To what he's um, what he's saying, but there there is a word uh, for the ministry, amen. And, um, and so we just go in and, and do. And it's not like they don't get the word, you know. We've mm -hmm. been, uh, bishops um, teaching uh, when he came and spent some time with us here in World War Warriors, and so uh, it's just it's an honor, uh, really honored to go and and to share. And um, yeah, just be obedient um, mm -hmm. to um, what the Lord is is saying and what the Lord is is doing in this hour. So um, truly honored, truly mm -hmm. honored. Thank you for um, your prayers and of your uh, prayers of agreement on on tonight. Appreciate Amen. you. Mm -hmm. Praise God. You're welcome. Amen. Mm. All right. Well, we're not going to linger on because I know we get to linger and we, we be here a whole nother hour. <laughs> Y'all know how we do. <laughs> right, right. But to God be the glory. Amen. To God be the glory. Um, this is this is what we do. And again, just super excited just for the opportunity. To, so I thank you all for, um, for being here in this place and space. And yeah. uh, I think uh, Trey, are you up tomorrow? Yes, ma'am. Okay, um, I'm gonna test the the Zoom settings just to make sure. Um, perfectly, I'll be done over there. I I I don't know what the Lord's going to do, but we start at seven, so 
um, I'm going to test it to make sure that you can get in. I think that you guys can get in without me having to um, let, let you in like before. Uh, but I'll make sure that that's tested and ready to go for you. And um, as soon as I'm done, um, prayerfully, I'll be um, joining joining you all on tomorrow night. So, all right. I love you guys. Everybody have a great rest. Good night. Good night. Good night. I hope you have a great evening. Good night. Love everyone. Good night. Let me know if you need to do any sort of test run or anything. Say that again. So let me know if you need to do any sort of test run or anything. Okay, I will. Okay. All right, thank Good you much. Night. Good night. Good night.